all that goes with the world must be illusory. The entire Vedantic literature should also form part of the same illusion. How can it carry any more credibility, any more importance than the rest of the illusion? What value can Vedanta claim being a part of an illusory projection? Why then should one heed a part of the illusion? How could a part of the illusion pull you out of the entire illusion? Vedanta provides a brilliant answer to this pertinent question. It is true that the knowledge and philosophy imparted by Vedanta is a part of the illusory world. It has, however, one distinction which all other parts of the illusion lack. Highlighted in one potent simile, Swapna Simhavat, which means like a dream lion. The philosophy of Vedanta is compared to a lion in a dream. Imagine a dreamer suddenly encountering a lion. The lion is a part of the dream world, a figment of imagination like the rest of the dream. The lion in the dream has also one distinct character which is denied to other parts of the dream. That is, its faculty to catapult the dreamer from the dreaming state to the waking state. When the dream lion pounces on the dreamer, he is startled, terrified. The lion in the dream wakes him up as it were. The dream lion is no doubt a part of the dream, but it has the ability to swallow up the entire dream itself vanishing in the act. Vedanta plays the role of the dream lion in the world. Its chaste knowledge is admittedly a part of the illusory world. But it too has the unique character to dissolve the entire world itself, disappearing in the process. It transports the waker to God consciousness, to ultimate spiritual enlightenment. Yeah. Play no. your role. Therefore, it is of prime. Yeah. The dream line. Okay. All that we have discussed till now is part of the illusion. If you say world is an illusion, that itself is an illusion. To call the world as an illusion itself is an, is an illusion. Why? Because it doesn't agree with your experience. To say that the world is an illusion doesn't agree with your own experience. Therefore, to say that it is an illusion doesn't make any and yet there is there is lot of analysis given there is lot of analysis done explanations given and everything but still something is very much confusing in this entire idea of illusion what is that if you consider the world as an illusion where does that leave you are you not in the world 
the teacher who is teaching is he not is he not in the world since you are does it mean that both you and the statement are an illusion if the one who talks is an illusion that which is being talked about also is an illusion okay these problems we don't have assuming that we are having this problems is answered we don't have this we don't have this problem is very clear sir world is an world is an illusion is very very clear to us we don't have this problem at all why why it is unnecessary confusing but the assumption here is the con the the world is an illusion itself is not a concept that that is so so clear it means if the one who talks is an illusion and that which is talked about also becomes an illusion then how can we say this knowledge helps a person get out of the illusion how can we have faith in this knowledge how can we have shraddha in this knowledge when all is part of illusion including the speaker including the speaker the listener the subject matter if everything is an illusion how do you have shraddha in this how can you develop shraddha in this knowledge from where does the shraddha come for which an analogy is do, an analogy is given so the analogy is to help us develop shraddha and what is that analogy like a dream lion like a dream lion everything in the dream keeps you bound to the dream all that is part and parcel of the dream keeps you bound to the to the dream and there is a lion that appears in the in the dream chasing you there is a lion in the dream chasing you where there is lion in the dream that is chasing you even though the lion is part of the dream it had a unique ability which the other things in the dream didn't have what is that unique thing that the dream had the the, the dream lion had even though lion is part of the dream it helps you to wake up after waking up there is no lion sitting there saying see i helped you out there is no lion telling there see i helped you out wake up so be grateful to me be thankful there is no lion that is going to sit there because as you wake up the dream lion that helped you to wake you up also gets is all similarly vedantic knowledge helps similarly vedantic knowledge helps all it means here is shraddha what will help to make you wake up is what it means is the lion will wake you up is the shraddha correct so what he is talking about here is the even though the example is like a dream even though the example that is giving is the dream lion actually what it is is shraddha it is the shraddha that vedanta will help you to wake you up that wakes you up for which the doubt comes for which the doubt comes what is the doubt that which is part of the dream how can it that which is part of the illusion also must be an illusion how can one illusion help you to get out of the other illusion a doubt comes shraddha solves this doubt where it takes a long time to develop shraddha the swapna simhavat gives a temporary and immediate solace 
Ah, there, yes. That comparison helps you to understand. Actually, what helps is, actually, what will help you to wake up is, not this analogy of Nasimhavat. Actually, what will help you to wake up is the, the Shraddha. That is where he says, play your role, the three states, even though it is an illusion, then where is the sense of obligation coming from? If the whole thing is illusion, why are you insisting on obligation? Do that which you ought to do. There is this law of karma. Why can't I? Anyway, it is an illusion. No, why can't I just do whatever I feel like and then get out of the illusion? Why can't, why, why are you insisting on karma yoga, discipline, do this, don't do this? Such a big list of tapas is given, disciplines is given. We don't, we will not call it as a discipline. We will not call it as a do's and don'ts, but we will call it as dharma and make you get more emotional about it to follow it. And then on the other hand, call it as an, on the other hand, call it as an illusion. The question is, how does illusion, one part of illusion helps you to get out of the illusion? Swapna Simha Vat is a beautiful analogy. What we understand is it's only an analogy, it, it, it's only an analogy that will temporarily that will temporarily give you the conviction, but actually what helps you to get out is the Shraddha. Though this knowledge is part of the illusion, it helps you to, to wake up. How does it help you to wake up? The procedures comes later. But then, in order to follow the procedures that is going to help you to wake up, first you must have the conviction that you are in delusion. You are in delusion and you need to wake up. First, that conviction must come. What is delusion? I'm not starting, I'm not starting the illusions again. What is delusion? Delusion is seeing the mithya as satya. That is delusion. Seeing the temporary as permanent is delusion. What is the definition of delusion? The mithya <coughs> is seen as satyam. And Satyam doesn't exist at all. Now, when you develop this conviction on this idea of Satyam and Mithyam, which is very important, which is what this Vedantic knowledge is talking about, this conviction brings about a Shraddha. There, Swapna Simhavat gives you a for a person of Shraddha, the Swapna Simhavat analogy is very, is very meaningful. For a person who lacks Shraddha, the Swapna Simhavat doesn't help a, a lot. It will not help a lot. Okay, it's a very good example. But then, problem of illusion, the problem of illusion remains. in order to have conviction on what this knowledge is talking about, what is important is Shraddha. Shraddha van labate jnanam. We have seen that any number of times. The person of Shraddha alone gains knowledge. And what is Shraddha? When the message that is given is contradictory to your experience, this is Shraddha. The message that is given is contradictory to your experience. You accept them and inquire about it. That is Shraddha. Again, I repeat. The knowledge that is given is contrary to your experience. What you are experiencing and what the knowledge is saying is Opposite. Now, what is Shraddha? You are willing to inquire into that. Inquiry into what Vedanta is saying. It means you are willing to question your experience. So, two things you are doing. Shraddha means 
you are questioning your experience and willing to accept the statement said by someone else that is shraddha and shraddha is purely a it's a combination of i don't know how to put it it's a combination of faith conviction it's a combination of too many too many things the capacity to pursue it till the end is part of the capacity to pursue it till the end is part of shraddha the words doesn't give you the conviction the words will not give you the shraddha the words at the most may excite you words at the most can give you an an excitement words at the most can make you believe that you have understood it it is shraddha that makes you to it is shraddha that makes you to pursue it rightly and what is that shraddha here the words of this knowledge is taken as a pramanam and you enquire you enquire enquire means we have seen that enquiry means thinking reasoning all that i we are not getting into those details so to say that the world doesn't have the capacity to affect you for 99.9% of humanity is the most absurd statement even even people in this classroom also will say it in the class after the class is over in the in the group discussion presentation summary it will be said what world doesn't have the capacity to affect you and the very group discussion will affect yes. yeah the very group discussion is affecting now what to do after that hmm. world doesn't have the capacity to disturb you affect you is the makes no sense at all because everything is so so real and yet here is a shastra that comes and says here is a here is a book here is a text here there is a group of people coming and saying the whole thing is mithya illusion the doubt naturally comes what is the doubt how can one aspect of the illusion help me to get out of the illusion for which the example that is given here is swapna simha vat the faculty to wake you up the dream lion swallows the entire dream in the act of swallowing the entire dream it swallows itself as it were it's not that it swallows the dream as it is swallowing the dream it swallows itself also that is why you wake up there is no there is no dream line also sitting sitting somewhere a beautiful uh, one of the beautiful analogies that is used in vedanta is the swapna simha vat it can be anything anything that wakes you up is a swapna simha vat not necessarily supposing sir what happens if the tiger comes what happens if the cobra comes doesn't matter something from the dream will help you to wake up and that something when it helps you to wake up dissolves itself dissolves itself and what is left behind is the reality what is left behind is that reality
it's not the dream line the cause and waking up the effect don't bring cause and effect relationship here that's why it says as it were like it means don't give in cause and effect relationship in this swapna simha vat what you need to understand for reflection is you should not give cause and effect relationship why you cannot bring in cause and effect relationship that which is ever present doesn't need a cause to reveal itself that which is ever present he is all the time revealing it's all the time there therefore it doesn't need a cause temporarily we are not seeing it now we are seeing it so from the standpoint of the dreamer it is said something will wake you up what is that that will wake you up this knowledge will this knowledge will wake you up to wake up from the dream is so easy sir we don't have to make any effort at all we just to wake up how nice it will be if we wake up from this state also like that isn't it from the dream you don't make an effort wake up it just happens by itself but here so much of effort has to be made to wake up and etc after waking up you realize the so much of effort that you put also becomes the dream it means all the effort the tapas the karma yoga next we are going to see play your roles etc all that we are going to see all that is all that is an illusion if all you have to say all this is an illusion the answer is answer is yes it is illusion it is it is an illusion only therefore the dream lion is not the cause waking up is the effect the dream lion wakes him up as it were that's how you should read it if you leave the as it were how you will read it the dream lion wakes you up therefore what is the cause and what is the effect the dream lion is the cause and waking up becomes the effect that is okay as far as that example is concerned but when it comes to waking up from illusion to the original nature you cannot bring in cause and effect relationship what is a cause and effect relationship vedantic knowledge is the cause waking up is the effect that cause and effect correlation you don't bring and who saying that the very knowledge itself is saying that for this one statement you can have shraddha in vedanta for this one state otherwise it will say without me there is no there is no scope for you for i am the one who is going to help you out it it doesn't make those kind of shit it says there is no cause and effect really it helps what is the actual help it does the actual help it does is the layer is removed the light that is already there shines forth it's not that it is darkness and vedanta is bringing in light light is already there and it is covered so what does vedanta knowledge do remove the covering and the fact that it has removed the covering we have to be grateful to the knowledge that is why after enlightenment after enlightenment also the great master says tasma shastram pramanam te keep shastras as your pramanam keep shastras as your pramanam tasma shastram pramanam te why because it helps you in what in removing the it doesn't help you to give moksha it doesn't help you to grant liberation it removes the covering what is the covering what is the covering i am a limited constricted restricted individual is the covering what is the covering i am this limited restricted constricted suffering depressed individual and vedantic knowledge is going to make me a something else 
Vedanta comes and says, for this statement you can have Shraddha and Vedanta. It says, no, no, no. Vedanta removes this misunderstanding. What is this misunderstanding? I am a limited individual. I am a conditioned. I am the condition. I am the jiva. That that is ignorance. That is delusion. That delusion gets removed. And when the delusion gets removed, what remains is what remains is knowledge. Therefore, don't bring in Swapna Simhavat analogy is extraordinary because it doesn't establish the cause and effect relationship. It's, it says, don't make the mistake of bringing in cause and effect relationship to Vedanta and waking up. Vedanta and Aham Brahma Asmi don't bring in cause and effect relationship. And who has the courage to say that? The knowledge itself has the courage to, to say that. For this only, you can develop Shraddha in. For this statement that they are making is enough to develop Shraddha in the knowledge. And what is the proof that you have Shraddha in the knowledge? What is the indication that you have Shraddha in the knowledge? Yes, sir, I have Shraddha in the knowledge. Week after week after week, I am coming, no? Where all you talk, I am coming, no? Where all anybody talks on Vedanta, I am going, no? Including, including you. Does that, does that mean Shraddha? Is that an indicator of, is that an indicator of Shraddha? No, that is not the indicator of Shraddha. What is the indicator of Shraddha? Play your role. That is the indicator of Shraddha. Play your, play your, play your role. That's the connection. We are able to follow. It is an, it is an illusion. And the knowledge says, this is the way you can, this is the way you can remove the, this is the way you can remove it. And what is the way you can remove it? By playing your, by playing your, your role. We will read, play your role now, and then I'll elaborate on that. Venkat, play your role, Padilla. Play your role. Therefore, it is of prime importance that you adhere to the tenets of Vedanta and learn to live life accordingly until you apprehend the real self. Stay clear of the hallucination of the enchanting world of perception, emotion and thought. Go about in the world like an actor on the stage. The actor plays different roles. So do you. But the actor never forgets his original identity. Thus must you play your roles in life maintaining a clear identity with the supreme self that you are. In the words of William Shakespeare, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. Now, play your role. How does the Swapna Simhavat wakes you up? What is it that the lion is doing that you wake up? Okay, lion wakes you up by doing something, no? What is the lion doing that you wake up? It roars, it's going to pounce on you, terrifies, wake up. That is taking the example out of its scope. Don't take that and that is taking it out of out of its scope. It only says something it does and wakes you up. Similarly, what does this Vedantic knowledge do that, that wakes you up? Very simple. 
play your play your role it means first you have a role there is a role full stop you have a role second you have no choice to run away from it three you can get involved or you can do it detachedly you can get involved in the role or you can do it detachedly that's all play your role where is the difficulty but it takes a lot of explanation and all that that comes that's what we are going to that's what we are going we are going to read now even though wherever he elaborates we will run away very fast wherever he puts it in short and crisp we will we will elaborate okay beautiful beautiful topic play your play your play your role playing your role has nothing to do with whether you like it or not first thing playing your role has got nothing to do with whether you whether you like it or not that role demands this i do it whether i like it or not that is what playing your role means so first thing that goes out when you play your role is what the first thing that goes out when you play your role is what we call as raga dvesha likes and dislikes goes out i like to do therefore i will do i don't like to do therefore i will not do wherever it is convenient i will do whenever it is not convenient i will not do this is not how you play your role this is getting involved in the role are you able to follow whether it is convenient or not you do it if you bring up take a simple example if you bring up a child by saying do that which you like to do don't do if you don't like it leave it you bring up the child like that from childhood at 17 and 18 you tell the child why are you doing this what will the child say what will the child turn back and say who are you to stop me hmm this is how you have brought me up no how did you bring me up all along you keep saying do that which you like to do and when i am doing that which i like to do why are you why are you stopping me the mind always reacts in this way are you able to follow the problem the mind always reacts reacts in this way such an approach is not right why because what you like or what you don't like is not important what is proper is important understand this difference what you like what you like and dislike is not important what is proper that is important and what is proper in vedanta we give it a word for that dharma we give it a word for that that word that is given for what is proper is dharma therefore ragatvesha is not important what is important dharma becomes important okay to do what is proper invariably involves what to do what is proper invariably involves sacrifice of your likes and dislikes sacrificing your pleasures sacrificing your likes and dislikes conve which the mind does not like that's why it is it is not convenient why should i compromise people ask why should i compromise sacrifices are seen as compromises 
it is not compromise this is how you do why because that is what is the right thing to do that is the proper thing to do that is the right thing to do therefore convenience ragadvesha doesn't determine it then what determines it that which is proper that which is right that which is proper that which is right becomes your obligation are you able to follow first is this is proper the moment you have the clarity that this is proper this is dharma and that which is proper dharma becomes your obligation when you keep doing it like that what happens that which deludes you is evaporating that which is deludes you is vaporizing that which is deluding you is melting what is it that is deluding you what is it that is covering you likes, likes and dislikes so by by playing your role doing action in this manner what is melting away that which is covering is melting away and when that melts away you get a clarity and that clarity becomes the further motivating factor to do something more to do something more to do something more all this in one word all this in one sentence called play your role why do you have to do that are you okay till now okay you find yourself in a situation if you find yourself in a situation how do you understand that wherever you find yourself in a situation whenever you find yourself in any situation how do you understand that your own karma unfolding all situations that you encounter if you understand it as your own karma unfolding opposite of that is i didn't do anything to deserve it sir why is it coming to me are you able to follow the distinction in thinking so every situation that you encounter is nothing but your own karma unfolding itself that's the law of karma and there is an obvious course of action there the obvious course of action is never a problem there that is why when somebody is in the same situation you can say exactly what to do what not to do are you able to follow when somebody else in the same situation you the op, the obvious course of action is never a problem because you know exactly what to do what not to do how do you know that you know exactly what to do what not to do when somebody else is going through that you are able to you are able to say it why aren't you able to say it yourself because you don't understand you are not it you, you don't have the maturity to accept or oh, every situation is nothing but your own karma unfolding itself in that unfoldment there is an opportunity to transcend when it is unfolding itself carefully follow now when it is unfolding itself there is an opportunity given to to transcend what is the opportunity to transcend do that which you ought to do rightly in that situation not getting carried away by conveniences likes and dislikes this is what is called playing your role this is what is called play your your role okay and then the third thing comes when you play your role there is a result of that and whatever result comes that we that, that we know already whatever when you do actions like this there is a result that comes and whatever result comes you accept it as prasada what is called as prasada buddhi therefore what happens 
the intensity of the likes and dislikes gets diluted it 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 it, it starts vaporizing it starts melting melt when it starts disintegrating melting vaporizing clarity is there therefore play your role the problem is not about not knowing what to do in a particular role the problem is at that point of time it is not convenient to do that's all it's not that nobody knows what to do what not to do that's why it is so difficult to teach people because they already know they will say sir idella we know it already sir the problem is all that you are saying is known already and yet what is the difficulty the difficulty here is not in knowing the difficulty is in making sure that you do what is understood as right to you whatever you think as the right thing to do do it without getting disturbed by your own likes and dislikes or the inconveniences or the mistake is waiting for conveniences so that i can do so sir once everything is so conducive and comfortable i can do i can do what i need to do no sir so first thing is sir we have to make everything convenient and comfortable first having made everything convenient and comfortable i will do that which i or to do you are you are in that situation so in that very act of making things convenient for you you increase your likes and dislikes in that very act of making things convenient for you what are you doing what is human being doing what is the society doing the entire humanity doing they they go on increasing their likes and dislikes but it looks like a very super it looks like a very good argument at the superficial layer dharma comes and says dharma comes and says what in that which ought to be done initially howsoever the environment is conducive there will be a discomfort in the initial stages of doing that which you ought to be done sorry in the initial stages of doing that which ought to be done howsoever the best environment you are in there will be a discomfort and the discomfort is coming from where not from the environment the discomfort is coming from your own self your own mind that is not accepting that your own mind that is not willing to accept that inconvenience to put it very bluntly there is no such thing called inconvenience inconvenience is the interpretation of the mind wrong interpretation of the mind because the same inconvenience somebody else is making right use of it no it means what situation being the same you should know how to make use of it rightly are able to follow how do you do that play your play your role all the roles is your own making your own karma unfolding itself connected now the roles who gives your roles did anybody thrust to the role on you people say society does it sir others thrust others nobody thrust the role on you your own karma puts you in that role your own karma puts you in that role your own, your own karma means actions you the actions that you did in the past based on your likes and dislikes etc created this created this situation and in that situation you have to do a certain thing what is role now in a given situation what you got to do is called a, a role prevel follow in a given situation what you got to do is the role and that situation comes to you because of what 
your own making your own making therefore it is of prime importance you adhere to the tenets of vedanta and learn to live life accordingly what is living life accordingly according to dharma and what is dharma here means you are in a situation because of your own making instead of blaming instead of criticizing instead of complaining you do that which ought to be done are you able to follow and every role we have seen it sometime back in the past every role comes with its own responsibility every role comes with the script role nale script da kekkanum first isn't it this is the role see imagine a play imagine life as a drama are you able to follow srikanth or drama podrom ipo le we are we are we are we are we are, we are going to do a drama now in the drama there are in the drama there are there are players you can't say all of you come and do whatever you want to do on the stage and go back so every player has a has a role role means what first thing in a role drama la enna kudupanga first thing what they will give they will give you a script subramaniam or script they will give and then they will give you a dialogue clear yeah. <laughs> a script will be given and the dialogue will be will be given and all that you got to do is what come on to the stage play that play the role play the role now what does it mean stick to the playing your role means what stick to the script your dialogue avaru solla kudadu avaru dialogue your solla kudadu isn't it mathi mathi dialogue sonna it won't be a there has to be a method in the madness he says no there has to be a method in the madness what is the method here there is a there is a script there is a dialogue what you do you come on to the you come on to the stage play that do that and leave all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players they have their exits and their entrances this is the role the whole challenge here is script than the problem guru who determines the script who gives you the script i am the actor therefore i will determine my script huh? that is one way of doing another way of doing it is surrender to the director that surrendering to the director is surrendering to this knowledge if the knowledge says in this role you got to play this in this role you got to play this so surrender so one thing is you can surrender to the director other thing is you can go on to the stage and do simply what you what you want you if you go on to the stage and do what you feel like doing what are you doing there you are upsetting the entire totality are you able to follow we don't understand all this that's why we just don't care we, we just go and do whatever we feel like doing because we don't understand that by me doing what i feel like doing i am disturbing the the there is a beautiful play that is conceived there is a beautiful sequence that is conceived there is a cosmic intelligence there is a great intelligence that has done everything by me doing like this i am only disturbing the i am only disturbing that so what i should not do i should not disturb if i should not disturb what i will do 
stick stick to the script clear yeah. stick to the script what is the script what is the script in chennai there is election today isn't it is the script i don't know how many is in from chennai how many are other parts i don't know because previously we all will know ella inga da irukranga nu we know in the class now we really don't know who is where isn't it first of all whether they are there or not also we don't know they in the zoom la at least in the nera bagum that is why overall nera and kuda it is much more convenient than 100 in the in the zoom because we really don't know who is where whether they are there or not nothing is so today is the election in chennai what you should do shrikanth politicians are politics self is bad wrong idella ennathukku pannanum alla waste of waste of time what is your role yeah therida what is your role all of them finish go do that and come back yeah. so i am the first fellow that went today because 745 i have to come and teach the world is illusion now so 745 i have to come and teach the world is illusion first i have to make sure i am governed by a proper person uh, for that i need to go on what uh, play your role and <laughs> play your role and move out just play your play your why why you can't play your role because you don't have conviction in the script you think that you can make your own script the ego makes you to believe that you can determine your script in fact what are you determine if you determine if you write your own script based on what you will write your script if you if everybody were to allow to write their own script upon what they will write based on based on your likes and dislikes in the totality there is a play there is no individual likes and dislikes is taken into consideration there there is a beautiful system there is a beautiful totality there is a beautiful design there all that you got to do not to disturb that is what play your role it means what take dharma as that which take dharma as the script and do that whether you whether you like it or not whether it is convenient or not today is exactly the opposite because who is the who is the who determines the role sir your own karma determines your role because you got an into it your own karma you created it therefore first thing that goes out is what blaming 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 goes out and when blaming goes out now eh, you have reached a very comfortable state of clarity second is you know what to do what not to do in that stick to that to thine own conscience be to thine own conscience be true and it must follow as night the day thou canst not then be false to any man shakespeare again so you have a thus you know the role in that role you know what to do what not to do this is where clarity comes what to do what not to do it's not a chain on you what to do what not to do is that which is going to liberate you people don't understand it like that dharma what dharma means what to do what not to do what to do and what not to do people think it is bondage. it's bondage sir I, i don't i have the freedom don't i have the freedom vedanta comes and says you have all the freedom and you exercise your freedom what will happen mm-hmm. 
from Mudaha to Pramudaha, <laughs> from Pramudaha to Vimudaha, isn't it? That's what happens if you exercise your freedom. First, he says Mudatma, isn't it, in the Bhagavad Gita? And then he says Pramudatma, PhD, <laughs> Vimudatma, post doctoral research in how to become more and more full. Yeah. Oh, totally. Mudatma, Mudatma, Vimudatma, all this is because of what? You are concerned about your conveniences. Mm -hmm. You are concerned about your conveniences. In the totality, it's not that you are convenient, it's, it's, it's not that you have to suffer. Totality never says you have to suffer. Totality says at times certain things will be uncomfortable, at times certain things will be comfortable. So, irrespective of the comfort or discomfort, you do that which you ought to do. Playing, that is called playing your role. You no, know, you can stop recording. Huh? It's useful. I don't know why recording is also. It doesn't matter. Conveniences should not be the determining factor. Then what is it? Tasmat Shastram Pramanam Te. And that Shastra says, this is your obligation. You got to, you got to do it. But I don't like it, sir. What if I had, a, what if I had made a mistake? If you say, what if I had a, what if I, what if I had made a mistake in the past? How sure are you that you are not making the mistake now? Because when you made the mistake in the past, you are very sure that you are doing the right thing. No. Are you able to follow? When you did something in the past, you are very sure. In the same way, you are sure now. And right through, everybody comes in, comes in with their own script. When everybody comes in with their own script, it will be chaotic. The family unit is chaotic. Relationships are chaotic. The society is chaotic. The countries are chaotic. Ilya. One country sends one army to some other country. The stock market goes down here, isn't it? I wonder what is that connection? But still there is some of the, there is a connection, isn't it? Some country sent some armies to some other country. We don't even know whether those countries are existing in the world in the first place. Yeah. The country pair go to Ukraina, Ukraina, Kraina. How do you say that? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Still, I'm very confused how to pronounce that. Some goes there, the stock market is going here, and I have lost 10 lakhs. Looks, there is a total order and each and every individual or a family or the society or the country acting according to their likes and dislikes affects, affects the total. And that affectation is the next situation that you are creating to yourself to face. The affectation is a situation that you are creating yourself to face. Therefore, it is of prime importance. I am reading again the first sentence. Huh? Therefore, it is of prime importance that you adhere to the tenets of Vedanta and learn to live life accordingly. For all the argument, I will come back to the statement only. Therefore, therefore, therefore. Hmm? And Dharma, we saw some time back. It's not a complicated thing at all. Dharma is not very complicated at all. What is Dharma? What you don't want others to do to you, you make sure you don't do. That's all. What you don't want others to do to you, 
don't keep on telling others don't do this to me don't do this to me don't do this to me don't keep begging at others don't keep falling falling at the feet of others asking don't do this to me don't do this to me don't do this to me you you live life in such a way that they will not do this to you how by you not doing it this is dharma otherwise we are all beggars going at going and falling at the feet of everybody don't do this to me don't do this to me why are you doing this to me i don't deserve it and everybody will sympathize also isn't it nobody will sympathize they'll only laugh at you why because beggars will be beggars will be laughed at beggars will be shooed away ramatirtha says when you go to the king how do you go he asks when you go to the king how do you go okay when you go to meet the prime minister how will you go with the night wear that you use at house will you go yeah or lungi munda bonena katina you will go and meet the prime minister vijay how you will meet the prime minister how you will go you put on your best. you put on your best what is putting on your best means not this beggary what is beggary why are you doing this to me please don't do this to me no then what i should do do something else no and we are not ashamed of this and we are not ashamed of this beggary and we believe that we have a legitimate right in demanding this vedanta comes and says what is the tenets of vedanta what you don't want others to do to you what you should do you don't do and stay quiet first you don't do that second stay quiet the world is a mirror that returns the courtesy faithfully it will return because world is the the world is the mirror mirror doesn't have any independent image of its own world doesn't have any independent image of its own whatsoever you do to it whatsoever whatsoever you give to the world is that which comes back to you this is dharma therefore you are very clear in what are you giving to the world through your thoughts through your words through your actions how are you giving things to the world through your thoughts the thought second is through your words the third one is through your actions the thought the word the deed the thought the word the action all must be in line with dharma that is the script when you do that what happens the mind that projects the illusions stops the mind that is creating the hallucinations the mind that is creating this projections stops over a period of time what happens you start identifying with your original identity and play your role that is the climax you will never forget your original identity you start with dharma being the guiding factor of your role and continue a time will come where you will recognize your true identity normally what happens the identity is is lost the various roles that you play or the various masks that you wear the various roles or the various masks others may get carried away by the mask what should happen sorry sorry what should not happen 
you should not get carried away by the mask that you wear trivial follow you shouldn't get carried away by the mask that you wear why because deep down you know your real identity are you able to follow invariably what happens you wear a mask and you get carried away and you get carried away by the mask what is the mask the roles various roles are the various roles are the masks that you wear various roles are the masks that you wear and you lose yeah. and you lose your real identity so step number 1 playing your role is the script comes every role comes with the script every role comes with the responsibility hmm the way that you do your the script and responsibility gives you certain privileges there is a privilege also to a role there is a privilege also and what do you do when it comes to the privilege because roles comes with the privilege also are you able to follow now roles comes with the script roles comes with the responsibility, responsibility and it also comes with the privilege, privilege. when it comes to the privilege part of your role what should you do don't cash in don't cash it in that is strength having the power and not using it it's a privilege what is the privilege every role the prime minister role comes with a privilege weakness is what cashing in on the privilege correct when you are playing the role as a husband there is a privilege weakness is cashing in that privilege when you are playing the role of the wife there is a privilege weakness is cashing in that privilege so roles also comes with the a privilege and what you got to do do not abuse that privilege do not cash it in when you do not abuse it when you do not cash it in it keeps it keeps building that becomes your that privilege is building up and you not cashing in becomes your bank balance bank balance so you walk into life with a not with a deficit you walk into life how surplus surplus abundance ah that's the right word correct abundance that's the right word you walk into life with abundance life can be seen as a phenomena of limited resources or life can be understood as a phenomena of abundance materialistic approach to life says resources are limited make use of it make use of it make hay while the sun shines sir the early bird catches the best worm and who should be that early bird fight isn't it fight who should be that early bird and one bird tries to go first another bird will pull it down why because the moment you understand life as a phenomenon of abundance purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadhaya purnameva vasishyate Vedanta says, "Why is this grace as though it is limited? For what is it reflected upon? What is the adhistanam upon which the whole thing is there? What is the adhistanam upon which the whole thing has come about? The infinite. Therefore, it will be abundant. It is abundance. It's not that it will be abundant. It is in abundance. Everything is in abundance. 
problem is the problem is we don't see it we don't understand it we don't have access to that abundance how do you do that therefore it is of prime importance that you adhere to the tenets of vedanta and learn to live life accordingly until you apprehend the real self until you apprehend the real self do that hmm are able to follow until you apprehend it keep doing that in one word it is called play play your role play your role when i went to put my vote in the morning i told that fellow I said, you know, I have to take a picture and show it to people and all. So, put it. <laughs> put it very neatly for me. He smiled and said, yes, sir. He, like artwork he did. Otherwise, they will put it like, yeah, smudge and all. And you can't, and you are seeing it. Okay. What is the role? When you do that, you do it perfectly after once the role is over please understand that a role means that has a beginning and an end every role all roles has a beginning and an end that beginning and an end of the roles is called brahmacharya ashrama grihastha ashrama vanaprastha ashrama sanyasa ashrama Are you able to follow? Mm-hmm. All roles has a beginning and an and an end. Some of the roles we know only how to get in. We don't know how to how to get out. Yeah. And after retirement only you become more busy, isn't it? At least when people are working. Hmm, See, I stopped relying on Manohar nowadays completely. Previously, when he was working, and he said, I don't know, he said some director general of BSNL, something he said. I thought that man will be very busy throughout the day. Any time I will call him for any work, he will be available. Now I thought, okay, now that man is retired. After retirement only, I am seeing him. Where are you, Manohar, now? in this planet or in mars <laughs> very busy at least vanaprastha asamar ko vaangona now only getting more and more you <laughs> already know this what to do now venkat correct no why why get into it like that we we know that there is a role and we also know the role must the part of the script is what it tells you when it ends that's why you are so comfortable the part of the script is it tells you it ends here the script tells you you enter here the script tells you it it ends here <clears throat> how do you know where does it start and where does it end vedanta puts it very beautifully as brahmacharya ashrama one role grihastha ashrama another role vanaprastha ashrama another role sanyasa ashrama another role it means when you when you get into grihastha whatever the role of the householder is you don't stay put in it forever you enter into it for a while and then get out don't worry about the calendar date of getting out when should i get out sir na calendar date you are asking no some of the you know some of the questions they ask no i saw one of the videos day before yesterday to a small 5 year old child the question is asked he said in the youtube to a small 5 year old child the question is asked when do you think people should get married <laughs> to a 5 year old has anybody seen that video 
when do you think a person should people should get married and the boy is thinking seriously eh he is thinking for a few seconds and then he asked maybe in the afternoon what is his idea of when his idea of when is morning noon afternoon correct so when should people get married i he was so hilarious so hilarious i couldn't control my laughter for a few for a few when should people get married afternoon he saying are you able to follow when means it has a shelf life all roles has a shelf life you enter into it you do it finish it and then but what do you do you get into the role and go on perpetuating it you go on getting deeper and deeper deeper and deeper and deeper you get involved in it in the name of in the name of obligations you get deeper and deeper and deeper involved in it and then you find yourself so trapped you find yourself so caught up you find yourself so trapped and then come and ask what to do vedanta says what you got to do since since you have created so much you have no choice but to you have no choice but to finish everything and then get out are you able to follow so role means understand has a beginning and an end but you are a father forever no sir but you are a mother forever no sir husband and wife it's okay i can go to the court and make sure that i am no more the i am no more the husband i am no more the wife i can say my parents okay till my middle age will be there after that they die so that also i am free correct understand role means this is the last thing that you got to understand it has a beginning and all that has a beginning as an end don't wait for death to end it huh? through knowledge and understanding you have to end it that is called maturity through knowledge and understanding you got to you got to end it that ending through knowledge and understanding that maturity is what vedanta calls us mature from brahmacharya ashrama to grihastha ashrama from grihastha ashrama you mature to vanaprastha ashrama from vanaprastha ashrama you mature to sanyasa ashrama thus must you play your roles in life maintaining the clear identity what is the clear identity in and through the roles that you play don't forget the purpose don't miss the priority for goals has this problem of confusing you with your priorities are you able to follow goals sorry the roles has a problem what is the problem that the roles will do it confuses you with your priorities vedant acknowledges says play thus must you play your roles in life maintaining the clear clarity identity clear clarity identity means what is the what are your priorities what is your priority in life and that priority that goal becomes a center point by which you can decide what to do what not to do. are you able to follow now you fix a goal you fix a priority when you fix the priority when you fix a goal and that goal becomes the fulcrum that goal becomes a anchor point to decide what to do what not to do and what is the goal the goal is very clear according to vedanta what is the goal get back to your original get back to your original nature is the goal 
do whatsoever you do don't miss that priority don't miss that get back use it to get back use it to get back when you do that what happens the delusion melts the delusion melts you will be free this is how swapna simhavat this is how vedantic knowledge wakes you up like the dream lion wakes you up what does the dream lion do to wake you up this is what this vedantic knowledge does to wake you up so play your role whenever we talk about play your role i know intrinsic in extrinsic illusion la avlo avlo doubt e varad confusions will not come at all wherever we talk about play your roles the priorities obligation etc lot of doubts will will come whatsoever the questions are whatsoever the doubts are we will take up in the next class first and then we will move on to the u and the 3 states so whatsoever doubts people have they can post it or they can tell you so we will take up those first play your role so that we can get more confused and then we will discuss u and the 3 states with this we conclude for